can um, you can be very truthful about it. You, you can say to them in that situation. So let's say you invited somebody, like you said, to, to mm -hmm. a picnic and it starts to rain, and you feel responsible for that. Yeah, because they are time. And obviously, you're not responsible for it, but you believe you are somehow. Yeah. Um, so you could say straight to them, look, I'm really feeling like I'm responsible for it raining. I know that sounds crazy, but, <laughs> but you, and that will actually help you. It, speaking the truth to yourself will help you out access the underlying fears and help you out access the underlying emotions. The key for you is to just live in truth. You know, most of the time, most of us struggle with just being open and truthful. Don't mean, like, like, how do you really feel today? Oh, I'm good. But, I know, I know. But are you really good today? You know what I mean? Like, what, what is the real feeling? And there's a feeling that we often have within us that nobody really wants to know our real feelings. And one thing that we're going to have to get used to on the Divine Love part is to state your real feelings even if you feel everyone around you do doesn't want to know them. Um, in other words, you're going to have to get used to living truth and actually being exactly what you feel right at any one moment. And that takes a bit of practice initially because what's actually happening is you're actually confronting the emotion of trying to please others. And once you confront that emotion and release that emotion of all the reasons why you've tried to please others in the past, you'll find that you'll get to the state where you can just be yourself at any one time and feel relaxed in every situation. So would you say if I really feel something inside of me, but I don't want to express it to other people, I know that I feel it, but I don't want to show them. Yeah. I create a conflict. That's right. right. Okay. And and you've got to look at super sincerely why you don't want to express it to the other person. Usually it will be because you're afraid of their reaction or their response. You're afraid of losing them as a friend. You're afraid of, you know, look at all those fears, because underneath all of those fears are a whole group of emotions. Well, normal, I don't want to bother them with my stuff. All right, so, yeah. so you don't feel your worth bothering them with your stuff. Yeah. So that's another emotion. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, emotion of unworthiness when you're with others. So, so if you go into them, you'll find that you'll be able to access lots and lots of different emotions by just going into these little things that occur, even tiny little events that occur in a single day, you, you'll find sometimes there's quite large emotions. If I can give you an illustration, that there was a lady that I knew that every time she hopped in the car, she just flicked down the mirror, looked at herself in the mirror and flicked back up the mirror. You know the visor mirror yeah. that's yeah. right in front of yeah. yeah. And every single moment she hopped in the car, she did that. So she could spend an hour in front of the mirror doing her makeup and everything else, and she'd walk out into the car, and the first thing she would do is <laughs> flip down the mirror in the car and flip it back up again. Now that sounds like a really innocent action. But once we started talking about it, she finished up screaming at me right, in her anger about me bringing up this tiny little action that there is an emotion underneath it. And after she finished up screaming at me, she went into this really big crying, gut-wrenching crying session, which lasted nearly an hour. And she connected with what was actually going on. When she was very little, her mother told her that no matter how good she looked on the outside, it was on the inside that counted. And the implication from her mother was that she was never going to look good on the inside. And that's how she felt. She felt in the inside of her, she felt that she never looked good. Even though she's a pretty woman, she never looked good. That's how she felt on the inside. And just that flicking down of the visor and flicking it back up again, it was a way of accessing that emotion. Well, I, I, I've learned tricks along my long journey, and something really pops up because you, when someone asks me, how are you feeling, Joseph? Well, do you have about 10 minutes? I'm going to tell you how I really feel. <laughs> no, no, I really don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> so the best <laughs> so, But that's actually a, a method of me refusing it. The main reason why I ask people now how they feel is because I know how they feel already. Oh, yeah. Because I can feel it from them. Okay. But I know that they don't know how they feel. Mm -hmm. So um, I find it's really good to actually help a person to connect with how they're actually feeling at any one time, just by asking that question. But we're so used to just saying, oh, great. Yeah. And, and straight away, some of you would have heard me say, well, 
no, I didn't want to lie, I wanted the truth. <laughs> 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 if you want to tell me a lie, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, Go ahead. Uh, sometimes I'm talking to somebody and like, I'm, how are you doing? And I see this person does do really good, but they're like, ah, it's fine, it's okay. So is it good, like, as can you talk about real feelings? Or something? Yeah, yeah. Be, be truthful with everyone around you. If you know that they're not being truthful with you, just ask them, or, you know, just say to them, look, I would like to know you properly, not just know the facade, you know. So I know that there's something going wrong with you, and if, if you want to talk about it, I'm here to talk about it with them. Um, if you don't, well, that's okay. That's your your call. But um, you know, just present to them that you do feel quite different than what they've just said to you, and that may help them just open up and connect to their own emotions.